And welcome back to the Flow Sports Fix. We're in our final home stretch moment for the evening, and that means it's time to get our ticket and get ready to go for a ride on the Sports Express. All aboard the Sports Express. Your ticket to sporting news. Well, this morning the AFL world continues to reel after the death, uh, the shocking death of uh, Sam Newman's wife at the age of just 50. Uh, we still don't know any more details uh, about uh, if she was suffering any illness or, or what has happened. Sam Newman clearly devastated. And let's not forget, even though they've been together for 20 years, they only got married Last year, he is absolutely devastated and uh, I imagine that we will continue to hear more about this story as it develops. Caitlin Jenner is back in the uh, in the news headlines after... Oh, look, look, she's, she's said plenty of controversial things in the past before, but this one definitely takes the cake after stating that trans girls shouldn't compete in girls' sports. So this is a former Olympian who competed as a male, has then come out as transsexual, has you know has gone through the process of of changing genders, and then says that trans girls shouldn't be competing in girls' sports. Um, I've, I I find that absolutely incredible. Uh, many people are absolutely furious about. Uh, her position on this, uh, she's saying, look, it's a question of, of fairness, you know, particularly in schools, we have to protect our girls. Um, look, I understand the uh, the debate here, especially when you're talking biologically, but especially being that she's trans herself, surely there's a better way to dive into that conversation with that point of view than to sort of blurt it out like that and then be heavily criticised. And that's certainly a debate here at the Brecky Flow that I am going to take a giant step away from. Uh, in other news this morning, just recently, Manchester United fans have uh, stormed onto Old Trafford as uh, the Super League fallout continues. So the Su- Super League, look, it, it wasn't alive for very long and it was a uh, quick and merciful death. But fans have scrambled onto the grounds as they uh, protest against the club's American owners. Fans were chanting over and over, we want glazers out. Signs were made, flares were lit. Whether any damage has been done, we are not sure at this stage. All we know, Court, is the fans, they are not happy and it's not going to end here. The ramifications still waiting to hear what uh, the various English Football Association and, and others are going to, what sort of actions and what sort of damages. You know you know something's happening, you know something's coming, we just don't know what it is yet, but I'm sure we're going to find out and I don't think it's going to be pretty. I, I'm sure about that. Uh, just having a look at some uh, birthdays, some sporting birthdays for today. Spider Everett, yes, Peter Spider Everett, the AFL player, the 203-centimetre tall player, turning 47 today, made his debut for St Kilda in 93 and in 2003 began playing for Hawthorne. He was then traded to the Sydney Swans at the end of the 06 season and retired at the end of 08 after playing 291 games. For many years, he's worked in the media. He is the brecky presenter on Gold Coast radio station Triple M and he and his wife Shuri, of course, are presenters of a show you get here every Sunday on Flow, the Great Australian Doorstep. Also celebrating their birthdays today, uh, Brad Scott, AFL football player that played his first season with Hawthorne and then joined the Brizzy Lions, played with his identical twin brother, Chris. Uh, Brad also played in two premierships for the Lions. He was appointed coach of North Melbourne in 2009, but was axed in that role later in 2019. And Brad is 45 today, as is Chris, his twin brother, the AFL dual premiership player with Brisbane. He and his identical twin brother, Brad, Brad played in defence. In 08, he joined Frio as assistant coach, and since 2011 has been the coach of Geelong, and the Cats won the flag in his first year as coach. In 2020, he agreed to sacrifice his entire salary during the AFL lockdown period to help the club save money. James Patterson, the Aussie cricketer, is turning 31 today. He made his test debut in the 2011-2012 home series against the Kiwis. In the first test at Brisbane on the 1st of December 2011, he took five wickets for 27 runs in the second innings of his debut test. And on the 23rd of December 2009, James broke the record for Victorian one-day cricket by taking six for 48 of 10 overs with one maiden. Uh, Some of the events that took place on this day, it was Cliff Young. Remember Cliff Young at the age of 61? He won the 875-kilometre North 
North to uh, rather Sydney to Melbourne foot race in a record time of five days, 14 hours. It was on this day in 1983. Geelong re- created an AFL record high score of 37 17 239 against Brisbane at Carrara on this day in 92. Brisbane scored just 11 9 75. And Australia defeated the West Indies to win the Frank Worrell Trophy. It was the West Indies' first series defeat in 15 years on this day in 1995. A few of those sporting things to share with you. Well, that's about it for the Sports Fix for this Monday night. Thanks for your company over the last hour. We look forward to sharing more sporting fixing moments with you tomorrow. We've had some uh, baseball and some Paralympians coming in this week. We've got other surprises for you to it, so make sure you don't miss an, an episode of the Flow Sports Fix. And of course, you can download the podcast to your favourite podcast app to enjoy any time you like. Enjoy your evening. We'll catch you again soon on the Sports Fix.